with something that almost all of you are probably going to face in your driving career, and that's a check engine light. Now, for most people, that means immediate panic and substantial expense to figure out what the problem is. We're going to simplify that for you. If you can understand this, plug in a USB device into a computer, such as a mouse, then I know you can understand exactly how a code reader works on today's vehicles. All vehicles since 1996 have a giant USB port called OBD2. This plugs in, it tells you exactly what the code is and gets you aimed in the right direction. Whether or not you're going to do the repair doesn't matter. Now you know what's wrong with your vehicle. In the United States, federal law requires that the OBD2 port, you know the big USB port we're looking for, be readily accessible to the right or to the left of the steering column. In the case of our Suzu Rodeo, it's to the left, down under the hood release latch. It only goes on one way, slide it up and on, get a good connection, turn the key to the on position, but don't start the vehicle, and hit read. Now, this vehicle has had intermittent check engine lights, so I expect we'll get some type of code. Sure enough, we've got a P0401, which is an EGR problem code. It doesn't mean it's the EGR valve that's the problem. It could be the vacuum line going to it. could be the gasket where it taps into the exhaust manifold. It could be a number of things. But the good news is you've put the power of diagnostics back into your hand through this simple connection. This code reader costs less than one visit to a dealership to do the diagnostic research. And then you've got to pay for the repair. Now you take the vehicle to your mechanic, you tell him what your code was, save yourself a lot of bay time expense in him exploring the vehicle to find out what's wrong. Very easy to do.